Hi everyone, welcome to Provisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily set up and showcase your design using Provisual and 3D models. Let's navigate to the 3D Models section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a vast variety of high-quality 3D models, and it gets updated weekly. Let's take a look at this woman's shopper bag. This 3D model is so highly detailed and photorealistic. Let's create a new project. This is what our bag 3D model looks like. Let's get started. First, let's change the default material of the bag. This material looks super realistic. Let's change the color of this material a little. You can customize the color using the color palette or by entering the color code manually, like this. Now let's change the settings of the material. Great. Next, let's move on to the inside of the bag and change the color of the lining. Let's copy the settings and apply them to the pocket element. In Provisual, it's so easy. Next, let's go to the Edges element and edit the color. Now let's move on to Handless and select another material in the Materials tab. Let's change the color as well. Next, let's tweak the material a little for a better result. Great! Let's copy this material and apply it to the straps element. Let's switch to the inside of the bag and apply this material to the pocket detail element. The shopper bag already looks so stylish. Let's continue. Let's go to the top binding element and change the color of the material. Next, we go to the hinges and change the color as well. Let's configure the rings element next. To do this, we will replace the default material and we'll also change the color. Let's copy the material and apply it to snap hook. Then we will apply it to the heads element Let's go to the zipper tape and change the color of the material. Let's copy the color and apply it to the zipper. Great! For the zipper slider, we will leave the color of the material as it is. Inner binding looks good too. Let's go to the seams element and change the color. Nice. We're done setting up our bag's materials. It didn't take us that long. The next step is to transform our shopper bag with a fashionable pattern. To add this pattern, you can click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. Or, you can download a UV map and prepare your design files in another editor. I've already prepared some images for our woman's shopper bag. Let's add the first design element. In the opened window, we see the editor where we can move and modify our design.
You can change the opacity to see the edges of the UV map better for a more precise placement of design. Let's reset the coordinates of the position of our design. Excellent result. Let's save our work. All right, now let's customize the material of our design a little. To do this, select another material in the Materials tab. For example, this one. Next, let's change the settings of this material a little. Wonderful. Let's set up the design inside the bag as well. Move on to the lining and select the layer with our design so that it becomes active. The next step is to change the color of the material. Next, let's customize the material itself. Like this. Let's copy the design settings and apply them to the pocket element. Let's select the design layer and apply our settings to it. We will also customize the material. Great. We are done with customizing the design on the outside and the inside parts of the bag. Let's see what kind of pre-made backgrounds we have available. We can choose a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the desired colors and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you. Or add your own image. Let's add one. Excellent. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Or enable the moving lights. Saving our project. After you've completed your design, you can share it by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on creating a woman's shopper bag design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.